why why is this working why is this oxaloacetate compound working what is oxaloacetate perhaps i should answer that question first oxaloacetate is a human metabolite it's found in every cell of your body it's critical uh, children that that for whatever reason are born without oxaloacetate or the ability to make oxaloacetate typically don't reach their first birthday it's it's very sad um, oxaloacetate is in the Krebs cycle in the mitochondria so the mitochondria are those little power plants in your cell that give you power uh, that, that allow your cell to do all the things that that it needs to do in order to keep you functioning keep you healthy oxaloacetate is one of those key ingredients uh, uh, that are in the citric acid cycle within the mitochondria so we call them metabolites they're energy compounds but in addition to being involved in energy production in the mitochondria the ox oxaloacetate also has a special function in the liver it can take fats uh, triglycerides and fats and help convert them to glucose to sugar and it does this in the liver it's called gluconeogenesis and I don't want to get too technical here but being able to produce glucose or sugar on demand from your your fatty stores is critically important especially if you haven't eaten that morning or if you haven't eaten that day uh, because you need to be able to fuel your heart and your brain with with glucose and for so long we used to think that that emotional PMS these wild mood swings um, was tied to hormones because it happened right before your period every month so it, it makes sense that it's tied to hormone levels but the funny thing is is when we measure these hormone levels in women with severe emotional PMS and women that don't have emotional PMS their hormone levels weren't different now let me say that again there the women with a severe emotional PMS and the women without emotional PMS their hormone levels were the same so as a scientist I think if there's no difference why are these why, why is there a difference in, in behavior? And it's because the hormones aren't the answer. The hormones make the timing of the event, but they don't cause the event. And research out of UCLA, uh, when we look at women with emotional PMS and, and we do brain scans of them, uh, it's called a PET scan, we look at their glucose or sugar utilization in the brain what we see is in the very back of the brain there's an area called the cerebellum uh, it's kind of an older part of the brain evolutionary wise it deals with motion and and movement and controlling things like that controlling heart rate and important things but it also lately we've seen a lot of evidence that it's tied to uh, manic depressive uh, syndrome to psychosis uh, to a lot of severe emotional disorders and we know that because people actually have brain damage uh, in their cerebellum because of maybe a car accident or, or, or something like that and so this is a new function that we're seeing for, for this, this portion of the brain, the cerebellum. And what the researchers from UCLA found is that during emotional PMS, they see this huge spike in glucose need 
in the back of the brain, in the cerebellum. And we don't see that in women who don't have the emotional PMS. So here, all of a sudden, now we have something that's statistically different between the two groups, that one group has this issue and the other group doesn't. And this is a, a brilliant paper, um, and it really set aside some questions like, why do women reach for chocolate or ice cream uh, when they're having this emotional PMS? It's because they're trying to feed the glucose shortage in their cerebellum. And it works. They've done clinical trials. You can take a little bit of chocolate and, and feel better. The problem is, is that it only works for a very short time because the way our body processes sugar or glucose, you might have heard of this uh, swing where glucose levels go up and then you do a sugar crash. And once you sugar crash, it makes the problem even worse. So what can you do about this? Well, it turns out oxaloacetate, this, this energy metabolite that's already in every cell of your body, if you give yourself just a little bit more of this, you can allow your liver to work and process glucose when your brain needs it. And we're able to do this with 100 to 200 milligrams of oxaloacetate, which is just a tiny, tiny amount. And we're seeing incredible improvements, over 50% on average improvement. Some women saw 100% improvement, some didn't see any. But the ones that didn't see any is a very, very small portion of the group, about 10%. So the majority of the women saw this incredible improvement in emotional PMS, being able to bring it down into a realm where they can control it, where they're not afraid of what they're going to say, when they're not afraid of who they're gonna hurt, when they're not afraid of going to work because you know, if I say this or if I do this, I may lose my job or my relationship with my husband or my relationship with my children or my relationship with my grandmother or my friends. This has the ability to take the fear out of emotional PMS, which is a huge, huge improvement in people's lives.